That is an insult to pizza. Pizza. What's not to love about these insanely delicious triangles? Imagine sinking your teeth into a crispy, buttery crust underneath layers upon layers of cheese, sauce, and all those glorious fixings that make life worth living. It's the ultimate heaven-sent snack. But as convenient as it can be, it's one of those dishes you could easily mess up. We personally wouldn't mind a botched pizza. But that won't do when you're Gordon Ramsay. As we know, Chef Gordon Ramsay and lousy pizzas don't mix. Here are the top 10 worst pizzas served to the world's most famous chef. Oh my god, leave it, leave it, leave it! Burnt pizza. It's definitely a lot of pressure on my shoulders being in the app station because it's where people die. When a Michelin star chef barks orders, you listen. And you better get him what he wants stat. On season 15 season premiere of Hell's Kitchen, the amateur chefs had their first taste of torture, Ramsay style. During dinner service, Vanessa was assigned to the appetizer station. Well, just so we're all on the same page, appetizers are not as easy as we all might think. It sets the tone for any dining experience. And for chefs, it might as well be the guillotine. Screw up here and you could say goodbye to your paycheck. Stop. That doesn't look burnt to you. I will start over again, chef. Gordon Ramsay may forgive pineapples on pizza. So 10 pepperoni, yeah, 10 margarita, yep. and no okay. pineapple anywhere. Or not. But burnt pizza? Sacrilege. So if you've thrown it out, why are you cutting it still? Because I was nervous. Hey. Not as nervous as I am. Some chefs had to eat their mistake. While Mark and Eddie eat their mistake, many blue diners are not surprisingly getting restless. But honestly, those mistakes can give everyone a heart attack. Just touch that. Put your hand on there. Touch. Touch. Go! Never serve burnt pizza. Ever. The girl can't even turn a pizza in a pizza oven. It's just embarrassing. Pizza with ranch dressing. I'm going to ask my beloved father to bless my food. Maybe Gordon Ramsay didn't get off on the right foot with this one. God, it's grim in here. Sad and grim. But what did he think about the loaded baked potato pizza? Thank you, mate. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's the strangest pizza I've ever seen. Well, let's just say he asked a priest to bless his food. Oh, good and gracious God, we ask you bless this food. As any Italian will tell you, pizzas should never be messed with. What did Gordon Ramsay think about this pizza? So they put a ranch dressing on the pizza. Yes. It's almost like sort of wallpaper paste. The best chefs all seem to agree that the perfect pizza is simple to prepare. Go sparingly with the sauce, never go crazy with the toppings, and please avoid making it soggy at all costs. In addition, authentic pizzas are thin and crispy. Nothing beats that golden crispy dough. So is it a yay or nay for this ranch dressing pizza? So the pizza sucks. Jake, I can see that right now. Un-margarita pizza. That, it must be two months old. Margarita pizza is as Italian as Italian can get. It's a classic. Created in the late 1800s, this pizza was meant to display the colors of the Italian flag. Tomatoes for red, mozzarella cheese for white, and basil leaves for green. Simple enough, right? Well, not so much for Mama Maria's. Yeah, I've got oil slicks in here. Doesn't like the pizza either. It's too greasy. It's just full of grease. Just when you think that nothing could be worse, along comes a greasy ass pizza. Real greasy. Something that should have been simple enough for the chef with Italian roots. What did Chef Ramsay think? He said the pizza is greasy and that you should be tasting everything that before it gets sent out to him. Oh, someone looks like he's had enough, but Gordon wasn't having it. I don't know where to start. I've just had one of the most disgusting lunches I've ever had. Apparently, the owner was living in 1967 and was running on nostalgia. You could get away with it, 1967. It's 2012, John. But for all that Chef Ramsay had said, the guy has a heart. Tonight, he was an owner. This restaurant now belongs to John and John only. Raw dough pizza by Amy's Baking Company. I have too much respect for your customers yes. yeah. to yeah. them. Now, will you tell your wife or shall I? Kitchen Nightmares is famous for Chef Gordon Ramsay's temper and sardonic wit. It has also made one restaurant as infamous as its owners, Amy's Baking Company. Remember Sammy and Amy Buzaglo, the husband and wife team who achieved notoriety thanks to Kitchen Nightmares? Sammy would be seen threatening customers. Is your first time? Last time. And last time, don't come back, madame. 
Amy, on the other hand, would violently reject any criticism about her dishes. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. How did Gordon Ramsay find this fig pear prosciutto pizza? Well, the crust is supposed to be good, but it's not that crusty. Hmm. Can Amy take all this in? I'm not worried. I'm afraid he's going to say something this isn't good. Apparently not. How about Amy's other dishes? Did this episode end well? We all know the answer to that. So it's I told you about the burger. You refused to listen. I did not. I Every asked time you I tell what you was wrong with it. Looks like someone was a little too touchy. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Bacon and chocolate pizza. Bacon and chocolate pizza. O M F. G. Just when we thought we've seen it all, here comes another abomination. Bacon and chocolate pizza. It all began with what the manager thought about their menu. Amazing. Even the manager thinks the food's terrible here, and he's not embarrassed to tell me. We love bacon. Burger! And we absolutely adore chocolate. But how's that going to work in a pizza? Let's see. I mean, it's just, I've never seen anything so f unappetizing as a dessert in all my life. Chef Gordon Ramsay was right. Bacon and chocolate pizza? OMG. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like any of it. White and dark chocolate, strawberries, bacon. Well, we honestly don't know what to think of it. Gordon Ramsay has openly pronounced his disdain for pineapple on pizza. In fact, he was willing to eat one on Facebook Live for charity. Imagine salty, sweet, cardboard, because that's what's exactly going on in my mouth right now. And not good. But we're guessing that this tops that. The Merc, which has since closed, was simply out of their element. Their dry chicken dishes and this 10-inch dessert pizza didn't fly too well even with other customers. It's like we've had a crisis with the toilet paper department. Someone's wiped their ass with my dough. Sushi pizza. And an insult to Japanese culture, and an insult to a pizza house. Mmm, sushi. Pizza? The combo alone sounds interesting. But before we all get excited, Chef Gordon Ramsay just had to get something out of the way. Are you finished with the green tower? And it's just, I pulled out this disgusting hair. Yeah. A strand of hair. Ugh. You'd think that things would go uphill from here, right? That's the sushi pizza. It sure is. It's rice, salmon, crab, and mayonnaise. Some cheese. Wow. Rice, salmon, crab, mayonnaise, and cheese. Okay, fair enough. What does Gordon think about it? You were right. That is an insult to pizza yeah, <laughs> and Japanese food. If he describes a dish as an insult to pizza and Japanese food, the chefs had better be prepared. The sushi pizza was a joke. Right. Okay. Hideous and disgusting. And as if that weren't enough, the kitchen had more to reveal. Why all these sticks got burns on them? We reused them sometime. You what? Reused barbecue sticks might as well be a capital offense. But if there's anything we learned from Ramsay, it's the importance of being open to change. Because the owners took criticism well, their kitchen nightmare turned into, shall we say, a kitchen dream come true. Oh, this restaurant took a huge leap forward. I will remember what, every, everything you told me. Sebastian's Pizza. Yeah, he's in the dining room eating. Oh, really? Yeah, he, uh, he thinks my food is terrible. Things were off to a good start. Working here with Chef Gordon Ramsay, it's like as an actor, having uh, Robert De Niro say, you know what? I'm gonna help you with this role. But then again, we might be wrong. Every single customer, whether I come over and just say hello, or I spend 10 minutes, sit down and have a glass of wine with you. You sit down with the customers and drink wine. Why not? Gordon found Sebastian's menu quite complex, which meant that his pizza would most likely miss the mark too. Gordon asked for a fresh pizza and gave Sebastian the elbow room to choose. This is the house speciality? Um, yes. Yes, and what kind of pizza is it? What flavor? It's a Popeye pizza. Popeye. Yes. With two wood-burning ovens, Sebastian could very well come up with the best pizzas this side of California. But his pizza was soggy. Turns out this wasn't his only problem. Well, it's definitely processed. Little, if there was any, was fresh. 
most of the ingredients could always be made from scratch. To Gordon's amazement, even the pizza dough at this pizzeria was frozen. And you get them in frozen? Yes, it yeah. comes in frozen. I think it's one of the best frozen doughs I've seen. Sebastian's attempt to salvage what Ramsey thought of him wasn't quite successful. I have no idea why he asked me to come over here. But when a desperate chef opens himself up to the possibility, good things happen. As a start, Ramsey brought in expert dough tossers in an attempt to make Sebastian's Pizzeria the go-to Italian resto for freshly made wood-baked pizza. Very good. The unthin crust pizza. It's like the pizza that ate Denver. Yeah. When you order a thin crust pizza, you expect pizza baked with especially thin or flattened dough, not some chewy, pan-deep thick crust. I mean, does that look like the best pizza? Trust me, I can tell you, it doesn't taste good. The dough was too thick for Ramsey's standards. It felt like bread or even a baguette to him. A lot of people get upset with me for that when they ask for the thin crust and I bring them the thin crust. Worse, the dough was raw and not cooked all the way through. Wow. Touch that? The dough is raw. Oh, wow, it is. Definitely not the best pizza ever. Pete, the chef, still wouldn't take criticism at this point. I don't know what the chef is talking about, and a lot of people love it. I do, I eat it. For those of us who would rather order in, any pizza that's thick, cheesy, greasy, and loaded with toppings is perfect in our book. But Gordon Ramsay has higher standards. Pizza, after all, is comfort food. Was Pete able to grow from this pizza tragedy? By the end of the episode, Pete successfully redeemed himself and the restaurant, thanks to Chef Ramsay's help. Damn, it's good. Pizza with Caesar dressing. Honestly, it looks terrible. The dough's uneven. Salad on a pizza? What does Chef Gordon think about this? There's a reason why I don't put fresh crisp salad on a hot pizza. Hell's Kitchen can be hell for a reason. For one, Ramsay never lets anyone get away with pre-mixed ingredients, especially when you can make it fresh. What about the salad dressing, at least? Is it an authentic Caesar dressing? Pre-made. Store-bought dough, store-bought Caesar salad dressing. That's the equivalent of walking the plank. In addition, fresh crisp salad on warm pizza isn't exactly a good combination. The reason why pizza looks so strikingly delicious lies in its symmetry. A great pizza looks even because it's evenly cooked through. A cardinal rule for pizza? Make the dough yourself. And please, use only the freshest of ingredients. We hear ya, Chef Ramsay. We hear ya. At this point, I gotta think to myself, well, there's no place else but up. Pineapple pizza. Would you eat pineapple on a pizza? No. Thank you, sir. How much does Chef Gordon Ramsay love pineapple pizza? Chef Gordon Ramsay has a million opinions when it comes to food, but none is as condescending as his opinion for pineapple on pizza. Pineapple pizza. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Given his hatred for this topping, he vowed to eat this monstrosity if his fans donated to the Great Ormond Street Hospital charity. Pineapple's a fruit. It needs to be roasted with vanilla and served with the most amazing coconut ice cream. It was, as he described it, salty, sweet cardboard. The ranting continued for more than just a few minutes, and in true Ramsey form, he brought along mouthwash. I have come prepared. Because <laughs> I knew you were going to get there one day. So. <laughs> Anything for charity, right, Gordon? We hope you liked the video. Are there any horrible pizza dishes that we missed? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos as well. Don't forget to hit or tap that subscribe button and ding the bell to join our notification squad in order to know when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.